So here we go. What are we gonna call? So it's Halloween. This is something I'd like to show you guys. You can have fun all the evening. Still have a lot of fun with that being slutty. See this picture I have on on my screen here? So this is my Halloween costume. This is uh, the DJ for my local radio station. Absolutely awesome. I went as a teabagger and had probably the most fun of my life until I got an allergic reaction in my eyelids and they all flowed up with fluid and I had to put teabags on my eyes all day for Halloween as karma for teabagging like a million people. But check it out, this is a simple costume. This was on a utility belt across here I made out a, a Nintendo controller, original Nintendo. And it, on the costume as you can see there, I had like 70 bags that had teas on them and then inside these were tea bags. And then I had my tea bag chain my stupid smile, and my crazy hairdo, and my balls. <laughs> I mean, being a girl, we can we can V-bag all we want, but if you want a T-bag, you're gonna need some fake balls. And, like, this was awesome, except, he, I don't know what his, um, that was a very, yeah, he takes photos a lot. Hello all my YouTubers, and my friends, and my subscribers, and people that I consider to be, like, family. All you crazy mothers. Awesomes. All you crazies. So I just want to say um, thank you guys for just simply taking an interest in the random things in my life and the videos that I've started making because I have just started. I've got like not enough of what I really feel and it's really on my mind and thinking wise of what I want to do. And I promise, I hereby promise, I am working on another, uh, as I refer to them, the Oh My God series. And it will be to a System of the Down song off the same album. Oh, sorry, I've got this crazy fire thing going on here. Gotta stay warm in Canada. We get some really, really cold nights up here. And the only thing you can do is throw a bunch of wood in the fire, put a marshmallow on a coat hanger, and play some video games. Video games. Oh, and super warm, super awesome sweater. Well, I guess you guys all know that it's cold. Not always, though. We have awesome seasons up here. Sorry, excuse me. And uh, this is my waterproof wool jacket, waterproof wool, Army Surplus Edition, even though it's really colorful and feminine, it's still Army Surplus. So I'm just cozying up to the fire, contemplating some more fun ideas. So if they say that film is raw and uncut, does that mean that edited film is cooked and cut? Cooked and filleted. Would you like some filleted film? <laughs> I think we should start using that term from now. My film is filleted. Cooked. Filleted. Hmm. It's funny that they call them TV dinners. Because what if you have them for breakfast? Or lunch? Would it be a TV lunch? No. So one of the other things I'd like to do with my vlogging now is I would like to, at the end of my videos, show uh, some links for songs that I feel are underappreciated and should have way more attention to them. So this week, for my underappreciated songs, I'm going to do two categories uh, for each week. So because I know not everybody's going to listen to the music that I think they should listen to, you should. But I know you won't because you're like that. Anyways, uh, so I would like you guys to, if you have the opportunity or you're absolutely bored and looking for some new music, try out Ich bin Einschlander by Pop Will Eat Itself. I will put up a little something here. Or here. No, actually, let's do it right here. Right there. Alright. Anyways, so Pop Will Eat Itself, Ich bin Einschlander, is one of the most awesome songs I have heard for racism, actually, and just awesomeness. And Clint Marshall it was actually the lead singer in this band. You guys might know him from like Rec Room for a Dream and stuff. I believe he did the soundtrack for that. And um, Lucky Slevin. A few, many other movies. But, okay, so that is actually heavier music, but it's like so awesome. And a lot of people think that the music video sucked, but I think the music video is weak. I would love to have those get-ups and walk around and I'd be like, oh, oh. Anyways, so Pop Will Eat Itself, H.B. Einschlander. Check that out. And for the people that are into not heavy music, perhaps, well, I, it's a country song, but I don't like calling it a country song. And it's not because I like it and I don't like country, it's just... Alright, so anyways, this song is by... Oh, shoot. 
I didn't swear. I didn't swear. Okay, so this song is called um, Forgive Me For Giving a Damn by Doc Walker. It's actually a really good song and it is classified as country. So yes, it is uh, a country song. Forgive me for giving a damn. I love this song because... <sighs> huh. I don't know, okay, I love this song. There is no because, I just do. All right, I do. And you might too, so check it out. I can actually put this one here, wait. Here. It kinda looks like I'm doing 303. If I do 303 song, well, no, they're pretty appreciated. House Party, though. That was a friggin' every time I'm having a house party, I, I have to listen to that song. I'm gonna have a house party in my house. And I clean my house to it. Kind of it. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> so, yes, please check out those songs if you're bored and you're still looking for something to do. Unless, you know, you're like me and I have all those toolbars on the utility belt all lined up. And I'm like, okay, this video, and then this video, and then this video, and then this video. And then after that, check that one out. Because I ain't afraid of no joke.